Um, this video we're going to be going through some of the site management and rank tracking options in SERP.net um, online basic SEO tools software um, definitely go check out some of the other videos intro video whatnot in the description uh, we've set up a special page on our site for anybody that's wanting to get access to the system um, this time site management uh, site manager is basically just a link over to however you have your uh, projects set up um, you've got the web analytics uh, backlink manager let's do that one first we skipped one backlinks manager this is where you can go in and say if you're buying links from another site or you're monitoring your backlinks um, to make sure they're still active other sites didn't go down this is where you just simply import them and it'll keep track and if there's anything that um, changes with it it'll definitely send you an email or at least pop it up on a dashboard of hey you need to uh, look at this it's not there that sort of thing uh, uptime monitor is it monitors your sites to see that they're still up and what the response time is uptime response time goes through the site info the cash flow manager is basically if you want to set up expenses for a specific prod project website um, that you're running it's got your statistics on money assets debts you know what what you're paying for you know themes whatever however you want to set that up site backups we don't use this but we could and we will start you simply add an account add all your cpanel info um, we a lot of times throw this off on the client so we could easily come in and back up sites and charge them I don't know 10 bucks a month five bucks a month whatever or even more you just put in all your host info and you can select whether you want how often you want to do it um, goal tracking this is good if you want to set up you know hey we're trying to do this with this site and this you know we're building our goals to build 20 links or build uh, get higher in the rankings whatever your goals are and just keeps a nice little work flow WordPress manager big big time saver goes through and it shows you the detail of all your sites um, you can go through you can bulk update plugins themes I mean you can do all kinds of stuff without having to log in uh, let's see this one here we haven't checked it in a while let's recheck so we'll see what it pulls in here oh I'm showing everything's up to date on that one let's see this one is showing out-of-date plugin out-of-date theme view to back in you install this little plugin into your site and then it gives you access you can install plugins uh, we get all the data shown that that's out we'll just update it real quick all right all right there we go um looks like we didn't enable Google fonts so let's just or enable the disable so we'll enable that and let's see it's showing we got this one that's it's not even the one we're using but let's just update it of course this depends on there you go depends on your your site too um, web analytics code which is where we'll go into now and I'll show you the analytics side of this which is great because you can use it on all your sites and not create a footprint with a tracking code that typically Google could penalize you for and if you're building a network that's definitely a benefit let's jump over to analytics side of things we'll choose would view this one view so this is I showed this one in an earlier video this is one that we use for uh, Facebook to drive Facebook traffic to this site 
It goes through, shows you how many visits you had per day. It's got all your your analytic tabs, just like in Google. Um, you can definitely drill down very in depth. Now let's go to yeah, let's do this with the the code. And what I'm saying, there's not a there's a possibility for a footprint, but not if you do it right. Like saying this one, here's the code for this site. It references this analytics site. Hit generate, it's going to change. See, now it says SERPed. Hit generate, it's going to change. That's SERPD.org. SERP.co. It change. You can keep it unique. And then you simply go into where we had showed you before. You don't even have to, oh, hold on. You don't even have to log into the site to actually update it. Oh, that was over here. Um, but yeah, definitely you can manage, you can go in here. And like, like I said, you can bulk update everything. Um, pro monthly content, if you don't like writing your own stuff, you can actually go in through here, order it up, and they can send it over to you. Pick it up here, put it on your site, done. You can see we have actually used it for um, some projects in the real estate side of things. Uh, 300 words, 25 bucks for five articles. Good content. And you can just click in here and go and order. And Now that is an additional cost that's not included in um, the program now PDF site reports this is great I actually told a story on the intro about how we generated some business with just seen an, sending over a nice report their SEO guys wanted to know how, how the heck we were doing it and what we were using and um, you can get as in-depth as you want this is one we prepared for a client it's not it's just a basic keyword rankings report so let's <laughs> let's go a little bit more in depth this is a client we approached a while ago you go through you choose the setup you choose how you want your text you put your logo and this is you can change it for every site go for every report um, you go through you add in whatever data that you want into the report everything uh, well and we haven't run this through site explorer so you need to run through site explorer it pull in all the data which is all your backlinks your majestic your everything uptime monitor just shows hey you know we monitor your site too to make sure it's a rank tracking goes through for all your words um, web analytics if you want to send them an analytic report for visitors traffic um you can do the long tail so it's in the basically add more keywords competition you can shoot them over something to tell them hey here's your competition here's what we're gonna have to do um show them how hard you're working uh, see you can, if they're doing youtube you can insert youtube videos and then a conclusion which is basically something you wrote up very nice very professional um looking reports rank tracking this is the uh, I, heck, for what this software cost, I used to be spending more in uh, rank tracking per month than, than what we do. And this is a whole, and you get all the keyword research, domain research, Moz data, hrefs, all that. So, let's, uh, we currently don't have anything running for cities, but it's very easy to set up. You go in, you select a project that you're working on, you add keywords and you can do them where you check them for Google. You choose, of course, the site that you want to. Select a country. I mean, you've got all these, so it depends on you know where you're working. <clears throat> you can select how often, within two to 15 days. You select up to five cities by putting in the zip code or the city name. Boom, add keywords. It goes out and checks your site and how it ranks from somebody searching in that city. 
Um, we actually were running quite a number and we actually took them out because we were ranking well and we wanted to use the credits for the country search. Um, go in, you specify, oh, let's, no, not this one. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, we'll use this site just to give you a rundown of what what you get. I mean, it shows you when you go up, this is only checked. What we do every 10 days. Um, you've got the overtime graph, competition analyzer to see what your competition's doing so that you know what you need to do to overcome them in the rankings. Bing, uh, Google, Yahoo. I don't think we have them set up to even track in Yahoo, but you can. Um, oh, hey, we do. Yeah, all, all the three major. Let's go over to this one. Let's actually go by. It didn't change on me. I was wondering why they weren't popping up. It was the wrong site. All right. Um, try to pick one. It's got a good graph to show. Oh, this one will work. Let's do this. Graph goes back to a year and it gives you basically your updates of when Google did some updates or some major changes that might affect your rankings. So this goes back to a year, 20, and uh, now we're up to fourth, which this, and this pulls in, I mean, there's gonna be three spots typically above you in this niche, just because of the competition of the specifics of the real estate, the Zillow truly, uh, uh, they're hard to beat out. Guess what? This guy's an agent and he's showing up as the first real agent. So anyway, just gives you your graph for your keywords. Quick check is instant check for keywords. All you do is simply add them and you select what database you wanna use. Instant, normal, it just checks whenever. But if you want an instant, which is right now, select that one. YouTube, it will go through and track YouTube videos and their position. These are a few we just threw in here, so we had some data. Let's check this one, this graph. That one hasn't moved, I didn't. We wanted to look at more of the competition for YouTube show you the data it pulls back for YouTube videos. Come on. Internet's been slowing, but it pulls back a lot of data too. Top 10 goes through when it was uploaded, so it gives you a date. Uh, it shows that that was up uh, those, all those 46 years ago. All these videos are uploaded 46 years ago. Okay, so that data is a little off, but it goes through your Facebook likes, shares, tweets, ranking through all the, the Moz data, views, likes, dislikes. So I, I'd go through and guess, let's see, okay, well this one's first, this one's second. So there's a lot more views, a lot more likes, a lot more dislikes. Nobody's favorited it. Comments, 800. I don't know why this one's not ranking above there. So I might want to go in and track and actually do more research on what this guy is doing. Uh, plus ones could be a good one. He's got a lot more plus ones. Guess Google likes itself. Huh. Funny, huh? I... There you go, he's got more plus ones, but now this one doesn't have. 
I don't know, just a research tool so you can go in and collect data and see what you need to do to uh, overcome the competition. Amazon Tracker basically does the same thing. You put in what projects you got um, and what keywords you're searching for your products. I don't do Amazon. It's a niche I just don't want to get into. Okay, I'd love to get into it, but I don't have the time, so I choose not to. So, there's your basic rank tracking. Um, if you got any questions, definitely let us know. Jump over to the page, get more info on SERP.net, and sign up. Thanks.